and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than 5 minutes so without wasting time let's get started today's problem is search in a row by sorted matrix which is marked as a easy level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so basically i will be given one matrix 2d array of integer type and another variable x of integer type and what we have to do so basically i have to find out whether x is present in this matrix or not whether x is present in this matrix or not but this is not a normal matrix this is not a normal 2d array this 2d array is every row of this 2d array is sorted every row of this 2d array is sorted okay all right so like if you have solved the yesterday's problem of the day you will be thinking what's the difference between these two questions what is the difference between these two questions uh, late uh, wait wait i will also explain this so please see it now so basically the all the rows of this matrix this 2d array is sorted so first solution which will come in my mind is basically to iterate over this whole whole 2d array iterate over this whole 2d array each and every element and check whether x is present in it or not if x is present in it simply return true if it is not present simply return false okay so the time complexity of it will be big o of m into n like m is the number of rows and is the number of columns so the time complexity will be big o of m into n but look this solution is not utilizing this solution is not utilizing me this uh, feature which we are given that row wise the matrix will be sorted so how can i utilize this and uh, let's say make our solution optimal so whenever we have to search in something sorted uh, we always use one algorithm yes you have guessed it right it's binary search algorithm so how can we use it look in the yesterday's problem where it was row wise sorted and column wise sorted as well row wise sorted and column wise sorted as well there we can simply start from this last let's say first row last column and check at every point if it is if my x is less than if my x is less than equal to if my x is less than uh, let's say current element so i will go left if x is greater than the current element i will go downside because uh, I'm already on the last element, so I, uh, everything cannot be greater than it. Okay, all right. But 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 here it's not column sorted. Here it is not column sorted. What does this mean? So you will see. No, in this example, we are uh, the matrix which is given is also column sorted and row sorted. How? So basically, it is no, it is not. It is not. Sorry, sorry. This matrix you can see it is not column sorted. It is not column sorted. How? 3, 4, 9 row is sorted, 2, 5, 6 row is sorted, 9, 25, 27 row is sorted. But if I will iterate over the columns, 3, 2, 9, no, it is not sorted. Okay, 9, 6, 27, no, it is not sorted. So basically columns are not sorted. So we cannot decide whether to go left or whether to go down. Okay, all right, I will add the link of uh, the yesterday's POTD as well in the description. Make sure to go through that as well and now coming to this solution what can be the best way so what thing is coming in my mind is basically basically iterate over each row iterate over each row and use binary search like apply binary search on each row to check whether x is present or not whether x is present or not to so if we use that so the total time complexity will be something like n log m where n is the number of rows and m is the number of columns so the time complexity will be n log m okay so i cannot find a solution which is which is more less time complexity than this which is less time complexity than this so let me know if there is any so basically it's a very very simple solution now what we will do we will simply apply binary search on each row of this matrix simply apply binary search on this each row of this matrix okay all right let's write the code for it then so for i will use a for loop for int i is equal to zero i is less than mat dot length i plus plus okay and uh, after that what i will do basically now i have to apply this for i equal to zero every time i will give me a new row and i have to apply binary search on the new row so how to apply binary search low is equal to zero high is equal to matrix of zero dot length because every column total number of columns is always same minus one okay so like zero is pointing to the first element and high is pointing to the last element of that row 
and I have to apply binary search. So what I will do while low is less than equal to high. Okay. So first of all, what I will do, I will calculate the mid. Mid is equal to low plus high divided by two. I'm hoping everyone knows what binary search is, how we use that. So if matrix of I, what I'm writing, matrix of I and mid is equal to, is equal to what? x matrix of i mid is equal to x simply return true it means it is present there okay all right otherwise i will compare my mid element so mid element is what matrix of i mid if i will compare this and it is less than x it is less than x it means i have to search on the right side i have to search on the right side and how to search on the right side low is equal to mid plus one okay all right otherwise otherwise what i will do i will simply do uh, high is equal to mid minus one all right so if my look this proposal this line basically means suppose i am searching x and it is in a sorted array and uh, if my x is greater than the middle part middle middle element if my x is greater than the middle element it means it will be present in the right side it means it will be present in the right side of the middle element not on the left side because in the left side all elements are less than mid all elements are less than mid in the left side and x is greater than the mid. So it will of course be present in the right side. So to move to right side, simply use low is equal to mid plus one and uh, otherwise high is equal to mid minus one. And after coming out of this for loop here, I will simply return false, which means it is not present. X is not present in any of the rows. So if X is not present in any of the rows, uh, it means it is not present in the whole matrix. I will simply return false here and let's Try to compile this once. Meanwhile, in the, this code you will get on my GitHub. So make sure you start that repo as well and follow me on GitHub. And yeah, let's try to submit this. Please subscribe the channel, like the video if you have loved the explanation. And I am going to see you again tomorrow. Till then, keep on coding and bye. Okay, and download this Chrome extension as well. This pin you will get the link in my pinned comment. I'm going